Right, we're back now because obviously earlier on we had a little bit too long on the episode, so I want to sort of break things down. So we're playing Amiens now as we should have been doing earlier, so hopefully we'll get the win on our first three points in League 1. 1, 2, 3. Hello and welcome back to the Money Bags. Today, obviously, you've just seen us play Monaco and lose, but we have to do a double upload day because the episode was quite long. So we're playing Amiens now. Uh, should be very quick this episode, I think, going forward. Although saying that, we have got a week to go until the game, or a couple of days at least to go until the game, because um, we lift, literally left off uh, just after the Monaco game. I think we've gone one or two days into the future. In this little gap, though, we need to identify someone to sell for some money because we brought Juan Mata in for 40 million. He's injured, though, unfortunately. Uh, we brought him in for 40 million, but that's all the transfer budget we had after, of course, they spent 200 million on Neymar. So we've got some work to do in that department selling players because I want to get another midfielder in, so we need to try and sell someone. So if we look down our team list here, uh, we've got value here on this far side. So we can sort of see these players... In the starting 11, they're the kind of players that I want to keep, obviously, because they're the starting 11 players. Uh, but wouldn't be adverse to let Cavani go uh, if we got someone decent in it, at least. Uh, if we look down here, though, on the bench. Now, looking down here, uh, Lucas Moura playing on the right wing. Am I going to use him? Because we've got Kylian Mbappe on that right-hand side. And we've also got Juan Matu who can play there as well. Um, and Julian Draxa can play there. And it's all, it's all a bit up in the air. I mean, he's a good player, Lucas Moura, but... I wouldn't be too fussed if he left the squad as well, to be fair. Um, even more so, not too fussed about, is uh, Angel Di Maria. Of course, he's the best right attacking midfielder we've got at the club. But I want to play Mbappe all season long. We're buying him for £160 million next season. That's a done deal. Um, it's already built into the game that you're buying for £160 million next season. So, nothing I can do to change that. So, I reckon Di Maria is a player that we want to get rid of. So... I'm thinking about it now and it just makes sense to me to let him go. So we're going to go to transfers. We're going to go to offer to clubs. And I reckon 60 million. He's worth 30. But I reckon if we go maybe actually 50 million. We'll go 50 million. Offer him out to clubs and let's we'll see what happens. Off to clubs. Hopefully someone comes in for him. Well, clearly no one uh, is... Well, he's not very happy with that, basically. That's the issue here. We'll ask Thiago Silva to resolve it first, shall we? Thiago Silva. Is there any chance to have a world Di Maria... Um, or it's a captain duty, just have a word with him. And he says, you don't feel, this is different. Okay, I quite like this. In other games, it would say, yeah, sure, right away, boss. But Thiago Silva's actually saying, no, I don't want to get involved in this. And fair play to him. I, I fully appreciate that you may want to get involved. So we'll say that to him and keep him happy. Uh, we'll discuss with Di Maria, though. Now, we've got a lot of options here. He thinks I'm forcing him out the club. Um, what I'm going to say here... I have so many options in your position, I can't find room for you, unfortunately. Uh, he said, let me fight for a place and prove I'm better than some of those you're keeping instead. Tell me what you want to do. Uh, really, I just want the money for you, from being honest with you, mate. Shall I just go, I, I certainly understand your disgruntlement. But my mind is made up. You're going to have to accept it, mate. Uh, and he's not happy. I've handled it badly. I can expect the issue to escalate very quickly. Ooh, oh, well, you're getting a bit of a flap on, aren't you, Angel Di Maria? Oh, it turns out he has got a flap on. This is, this is like the, the, the biggest dynamics issue we've had. This is crazy. I mean, literally everyone is cross with me now. Uh, no one is supportive of me. Everyone is against me. So let's discuss the issue with the squad. Uh, there's murmurs of discontent. What's happening here? Um, we're concerned that you're trying to force him out. And you shouldn't be doing that. Essentially, I'm going to say... Shall I say... I think this is the best thing to do right now. is departure allows more flexibility... And 14 players are no longer concerned, but Neymar is still concerned, which is a big issue. Um, ooh. 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 Not quite what I wanted there. Um, I want to be just calm, because I don't want to get other players angry. I'm going to see. I'm not going to be able to win you all round. Let's leave it there for now. And it's not affected morale too much. I say that. It actually has, hasn't it? A lot of it has gone down, which isn't great. Um, maybe if he goes, that'll be fine. But... He faced an uncertain future now as I've tried to sell him on. Maybe I won't try and do that again. That's a little little odd. Uh, this is our injury update as well. A lot of players injured, including Juan Mata, which is the annoying thing. Other ones, I'm not really too fussed about. I mean, this, this will just go downhill now, especially if no one actually bids for Di Maria as well, because that would be the worst. Like I've put him out there. I've done with all this dynamics issue. And uh, <laughs> and now we, now if he doesn't go, that's going to be a bit of an issue, I think. There we go. No, no clubs consider a deal for the Di Maria viable. Let's offer him again at a lower bid then, at 40 million. Let's offer him at 40, because that might make a difference here. I don't know. 
By the way, if you hear snoring in the background, it's not me, obviously, because I'm, I'm awake. It's um, I'm dog sitting at the moment, and I've got a sleepy dog next to me down here, and she does snore quite a bit. So if you can hear that, that's that's what's going on. But Di Maria, 40 million, I'll take that. Uh, and 40 million, still no one sees a good deal for, for Di Maria. Do we, have, we have to drop it down to 35 million now, I think. Offer to clubs, 35 million. There's nine clubs interested in him, um, but all for loan, not for not for transfer which is not what I want. 35 million, that's what I'll go to. Let's offer him to clubs for that. Otherwise, this is going to be a huge mistake, basically. Amiens coming up tomorrow, though, so we may not actually see Di Maria move in this episode because, obviously, we'll have the episode at the end of that game. So unless anyone comes in for him in this next day or so, then we have to wait till the next episode to find out what's happening to him. Pastore, though, has picked up a sport turn here. He's out for four to five weeks, injured through wear and tear, apparently. So that that's annoying, isn't it? Because he's, he's our best attacking midfielder. Oh, we have made a mistake, haven't we? Still no one finds the deal for Di Maria viable. We'll just ignore it now. Who else can we upset then by, by trying to sell? Uh, Lucas Moura, maybe he'll be leaving the club. I mean, should we just do it now? I mean, who cares? Let's just offer him out for 30 million because <laughs> why not right now? Um, 30 million. Lucas Moura, you can go as well. I don't care about you. Offer to clubs. Go. Let's let's see him get cross with me now. Oh, no one's cross actually, but people, people actually want him. Um, for 17 million. Now, can we negotiate these up to about 25 or so? I'm happy to let him go for 25. Um, it's a bit slow, this, this trying to click on it. It used to be quite responsive, but now it's not. I think it might be quicker just to go like this and go to 20 and then click individually very slowly up to 25. Uh, we'll negotiate that with Bayern Munich. Negotiate offer. Yep, that's, that's cool. And uh, we'll do the same with Southampton as well. Right, well, we made a few slight changes to the game against Amiens and we did against Monaco, uh, purely because, obviously, Pastore's picked up an injury. So we've moved Neymar across to the middle and put Drexler on that left-hand side. Uh, that's the only change we've made, I think, other than that it stays the same. I think we may bring Marquinhos on, actually, instead of uh, Kimpembe. We'll give Marquinhos a little go uh, instead of playing as that ball-playing defender. That's what he likes to do, but so does Kimpembe. So that's going to swap. Thiago Silva's probably going to stay there all season, I think. And with all that being said, Ariola in back, uh, Coerza, uh, Silva... Marquinhos and Daniel was at the back, Verratti and Rabiot in the middle, Draxler, Neymar and Kylian Mbappe as that attacking midfield trio, in behind Cavani who is our lone striker today and will be all season basically. Right then, morale not looking the best after that whole debacle with the, with the dynamics of a team. Passionately though, we're going to say uh, a team like this should be winning this without any problems and uh, only the goalkeeper's motivated so yeah, that's a bit of an issue. Let's kick off the game. Right then, we're kicking off, kicking from uh, right to left. Amiens left to right. Amiens having a great story, actually, to be fair. This is their first ever season in the top flight of French football. I think they've got two successive promotions. I covered them in one of my um, Who to Play As in Football Manager 2018 guides a little while ago. So if you're interested in that, go and check that video out. Uh, it should be linked somewhere in the description, I think. Kazawa picked up an injury, though, a potential thigh injury pretty early on. Uh, and I don't know if we've got many other left backs. We, we have at least one. But I don't know if he's actually any good or not. So that's kind of a bit of an issue. Um, as you can see from our body language, they were looking very complacent already in this game, which isn't good. You know, I'm not very pleased with that. We're going to go with an early shout to, um, I don't know, concentrate. I guess that's the one to do. Concentrate. Don't look complacent. Just concentrate, boys. We don't want to get into any mishaps this game. We want to win it. It's the first league game of the season. We should be winning it. And here comes the first highlight of the game. It's going towards Amiens, actually, but Marquinhos picks up the cross there and plays it up towards Cavani. Doesn't get to him, though, but Verratti on the ball plays a wonderful ball through to Cavani, who's just about tackled there by the defender. If he had a little bit more pace on him, I think he would have got through there. The Amiens goalkeeper then, with the ball, clears it upfield towards their striker, and everyone laid off him there and then they've just allowed so much space for their other striker to get the ball and here's a shot from distance that's probably what the highlight was for and it was a pretty poor shot and being honest with you i mean we've only had the one shot this game so far i mean is it really that big of an issue because we, we played really well against uh, monaco in the last game and then as soon as i've tried to sell Di maria everyone's crossed with me and we're not playing very well at all. So maybe that is an issue. We've got a highlight now, though, with Verratti plays it to Neymar, who's playing the centre today, through to Mbappe, who makes his way into the edge of the area, shoots and hits the post by looks of things, and that's probably what the highlight's for. Ball's put back across, but it goes out for a corner kick. And that's the closest any side have come to scoring a goal today. And I say the closest, it's about the only chance anyone's had this game. So 
A few more chance creations need to be made this game, and just before half time now, Amiens have a chance to come forward with the ball, but Rabio makes a nice interception there, and now we're trying to work it from the back. Verratti on the ball, out to Mbappe on that right hand side, who's replacing Di Maria essentially. So I don't know why Mbappe was across with me trying to sell him. Di Maria because he was one of the players unhappy I think Mbappe though puts the ball across into Cavani Cavani's saved by the goalkeeper Goethe there and we've come close twice now it's only a matter of time for a score a goal I think but we just have to try and keep creating these chances because we've not done a good job of them so far Amiens coming forward now though and it's played through to Zugu I mean I completely butchered that name I think but it doesn't matter because he scored the goal for Amiens they've gone 1-0 up against us and we're playing at home and it's the first game of the season and I've I'm failing as a manager already I mean, this is really not good, is it? Half time here. We've, we've, we've just been poor all over the place, really. We've lost a lot of possession, apparently, through the middle of the pitch. Things like that. Uh, aggressively is what we're going to go. Aggressively. Where's the passion, lads? Do you want to win this match? They look fired up. We'll go with the same team again, but I'm not really feeling it, if I'm honest with you. Uh, I forgot to go to analysis as well. We should have done that at half time. Uh, now the analysis is gone and the assistant can't tell me what's going on. He'll have to tell me later on, I suppose, won't he? I think if we don't get a goal before 55 minutes, we'll make some changes around because something clearly needs to change on this pitch because clearly we're not playing to our full ability now. As Sissoko is tackled and Julian Drax has got a chance to come forward with the ball. Played to the Cavani but got no one around him. Neymar now making his way forward. Neymar out to Mbappe. Mbappe, his cross is collected by Prince but his clearance is poor. Only as far as Marquinhos now. We're trying to build from the back again. Drexler on the ball. Drexler through to Rabiot. Neymar Jr. Neymar through to Cavani. Through to Mbappe and Mbappe's shot is wide. Just get it on target boy and that's going in the back of the net. Just get them on target. Right, some analysis now. What's going on here? Um, tell him to ease off tackles. I mean, I'm taking him off the pitch anyway in a minute because he's injured, so that doesn't make a difference to me. Uh, we'll go to the subs bit now. We're going to take off this chap here. We'll bring Yuri on instead. Um, Cavani looking very uninterested. He's not taking him off. Bring uh, Ben Arthur on. We need to stand on the striker. I think that's actually a bit of a priority. Verratti and Neymar also looking uninterested, but we won't change them around just yet. We'll give them another 10 minutes or so to decide which one's coming off, but it looks like Neymar because he's played woefully if I'm honest with you uh, we'll also move up to overload as well because Jesus Christ we need to get some goals in this game right a highlight now Yuri puts the ball in towards Draxler uh, headed back to him Verratti on the edge of the area puts his ball in but it's headed clear Verratti once again though plays it to Rabio. Rabio to Draxler Draxler running back to his own goal there but he's we've finally got possession we're going for hold again Draxler through to Neymar Jr Neymar puts it wide come on we're just not getting there analysis what's going on here um Hits crosses into the box. That makes sense to me. Do that, please. Just hit the crosses in. Get some headers won. Let's try and do this now. Right, well, for a second game in a row, Neymar has looked really, really poor, which is worrying. Very, very worrying, actually. We'll take him off. Uh, we'll have to bring uh, Lo Celso on instead for him, but I'm, I'm very worried that we've spent 200 million on Neymar and he's not performed in either of the competitive games so far this season. Right, another highlight. Ariola puts the ball up towards Mbappe. Will he win it? No, clearly not. Rabio wins it back, but it goes straight back to Amiens, and now they're trying to build on the ball for Fana. Obviously not Mo for Fana. He's played for Lincoln City. I don't think he even plays football anymore. Um, but it'd be funny if it was Mo for Fana. He's played for Lincoln City because I liked him. He was a decent, decent chap to be fair. They've got a cross in though, and Ariola was there to collect it. So I'm not really sure what his highlights for. It must be something coming up now as Ariola clears the ball right up towards Lo Celso, who loses the ball, obviously. Mbappe, though, picks the ball up and loses it straight away. So it must be coming for Amiens and it must be getting another goal because we're just playing really poor. Fanafana coming through, through to Zuga, but he puts it over the top and we've been lucky there not to concede. I mean, I genuinely don't believe this. We've got a few minutes left on the clock and we're about to lose to promoted Amiens from last season. How is this happening? We've got a highlight right now with a minute to go. Mbappe through to Ben Arthur. Ben Arthur shoots from distance, puts it over the top. I thought I was going top corner. We've had 17 shots, but only four on target. We've been woeful, really. Absolutely woeful. And with only 20 seconds on the clock and Amiens coming forward, I don't think it's going to change. It's really not going to change, is it? Kakuta on the ball, puts it in towards Areola. Areola collects it. And with four seconds left, that's it, surely. That's it. Traxler, there we go. It's genuinely full time. We've lost 1 0. Right, aggressively, no excuses for not winning that sort of game. They all look motivated, but something just fell. I don't know what I just fell. That made a big, big noise. I'm a bit scared by that. And would you look at that? PSG 0, Amiens 1. We're, bo we're bottom of the table. I mean, all, all due to no one else playing a game today, but we're still bottom of the table, which. 
isn't great really, isn't great. Right, let's look at the schedule then. Now, Champions League's not too far away. I reckon next episode may actually be St Etienne and Metz. Uh, I want to get the transfer deadline day in there because that'd be quite interesting. So I reckon St Etienne, Metz will be next episode. We'll have a transfer deadline day in there as well. And that'd be quite interesting. So I'll see you next time where hopefully uh, we actually win a game. Qui s'est ignoble d'un tracé fer des montants